The manhunt continues tonight for a teen murder suspect who escaped police custody early this morning. 17-year-old Michael DeFriend was being treated at, at the male surgical ward at the Princess Margaret Hospital when somehow he escaped around 3.30 this morning. Tonight, police say there are no significant leads, but that they believe DeFriend is still in New Providence. Now, DeFriend is a suspect in the murder of 22, a 22-year-old man stabbed to death Monday night in Union Village. I spoke with Assistant Commissioner of Police Hewlin Hanna just a short time ago. He told us it's believed it was injuries DeFriend sustained in an altercation with the deceased, which led to his hospitalization. He was being held in the male surgical of the Princess Margaret Hospital. He had sustained some injury after he was involved in an altercation and we had arrested him at the hospital for suspicion in the homicide of a youngster that happened most recently. Now, this is the second time in as many months that a person in police custody has managed to escape. And I know that after the uh, last escape, the commissioner made it a point to ensure that at least two officers uh, were guarding any suspect or any person in police custody. Was that the case um, under these circumstances? Yes, and, and this is most unfortunate because as the commissioner had committed to the Bahamian public and to our colleagues at the Princess Margaret Hospital, the commissioner took every step to ensure that, and he gave the, the instructions that we had added manpower at the hospital. And so if you went or if you go to A&E, you would find there are officers in that area. We have on those wards, we have additional officers who are watching persons who are in custody. More specifically, in this case, the person who escaped at 3.30 this morning was being guarded at the time by two officers. Hence the concern and hence the, the reason why the commissioner has directed an assistant commissioner to look into this matter because we need to know uh, why this person escaped if he was being guarded or if there were two persons, and not if, but since there were two persons who were assigned to that area. And hopefully we can get to the bottom of this and wherever the chips fall, and if there are consequences to be had, then those things will happen. Hmm. Mr. Hanna, members of the public may find it hard to wrap their minds around how a 17-year-old at that could have escaped when two officers uh, were guarding that person. Do you have any idea what the circumstances may have been? Did he go to a restroom? Uh, was he you know, taken away into some other area? Any information you can give us about how he may have pulled this off? At this point, we are unable to say conclusively, but what we do know is that there are no indications that uh, there may have been a struggle. There are no indications of anything being broken. Uh, this person at the time who was in hospital, who was an inpatient, uh, was not cuffed. And it was, it was not necessary, in, in our opinion, because he was there as a patient in the hospital. And we do not know what those circumstances are, but I want to assure the Bahamian public that someone has to answer for it. Because at the end of the day, there is little or no consolation to the Bahamian public if we put people in the hospital to watch persons who are high value prisoners or suspects, and then they just are able to waltz their way out of, out of hospital. And uh, this has caused us to look again at what we have at the hospital. And if we need to look at infrastructure, then with, in, in concert with PHA, we will do that. If we need to look at who we put at these facilities, we will do that. And if, we, if, if it is discovered that officers did not do due diligence, that is, follow proper training and proper procedures, then if, if they have to face the consequences, I want to make it emphatic, they will face those consequences. Mm -hmm. And finally, what's happening with those officers now? Well, again, they're working with us because we've been questioning them and thoroughly because we want to know, we need to know. Because there's not, this is not just merely the interest of the Commission of Police's executive management team and the rest of the force, but this is a, this is a nationwide problem because you, the, the PHA, Princess Margaret Hospital, is a national institution. And uh, persons who are in the hospital for, for medical care, whether they are patients or whether persons who are transient, they are in transit, they need to know that they can be in there and that they have no need for fear. And so we have to get to the bottom of this. We
Now, this case is a priority for police. Assistant Commissioner of Police Leon Bethel is leading the investigation. Now, police have not issued a photograph of DeFriend, and though he's wanted by police, he has been named, uh, they say, because he's a minor, they're duty-bound to protect his identity.